OK, so here is a problem. A gardener has a field in the shape of an isosceles triangle. He decided to plant it with rose bushes with the help of his apprentice. The gardener planted the first row with 101 bushes along the base, and then his apprentice planted the next row with 100 bushes. They continued in this way, planting alternate rows until the whole field was planted. How many more bushes did the gardener plant than his apprentice? So this is what the situation would look like. This is what the top of the field would look like. Okay. So the gardener is clearly planting the, the row with 101 bushes, then 99, then 97, then 95, and so on. So all the odd numbered rows. And uh, the apprentice is planting all the even ones. So 100, 98, 96, and so on. So what we could do is we could look at those two separately because we have the gardener okay, is planting uh, one at the top, then three, then five, and then so on and so forth, all the way up to the 101, okay, uh, 101 rose bushes along the bottom, along the base. And we've got the apprentice who is growing, or, or planting rather, the second row with two bushes, plus four, plus six, plus all the way up to 100. Okay. Now, both of these are arithmetic sequences. And in both cases, we know the first term, we know the last term. We don't know n, okay, the number of terms in each of those sequences. So we're going to need to think about that as well. So we've got un is equal to a plus n minus 1 d. And we've got sn, the sum of the first n terms, as being 1 half n a plus l. OK, I'm going to use that formula seeing as we know the first and last terms of the series. OK, so we need to find out um, what the uh, nth row is, or so what the n um, is the 101, so what position that is. So we could use this formula here to say, well, 101 is the first term, which is 1, plus n minus 1 times the common difference, which is 2. So take 1 from both sides, we get the 100. Divide both sides by 2, we get 50 is n minus 1. And so there is 51 terms for the gardener, 51 rows. So we know that the sum of the first 51 rows then is equal to 1 half times 51 times by the first plus the last terms. OK, so we're going to pop that into the calculator. So we've got 1 plus 101. Uh, times by 51, divide by 2. So that's 2,601 rose bushes that the gardener planted. So we're going to use a similar technique. Now, we would probably be expecting that that should be 50 then, OK? 50 for N for the apprentice. You could use a similar method as the one that I've just done if you were ever unsure of yourself, OK? Um, so... We would use uh, 100 is equal to the first term, which is 2, plus n minus 1 times the common difference, which is 2. So uh, take 2 from both sides, which is 98. Then div divide both sides by 2 gets you 49 is n minus 1. And so n is 50, as we thought. OK. So knowing that n is 50 we can say that the sum of the 50 rows the apprentice plants will be 1 half times n times the first plus the last. OK, so we've got 102 times by 50 divided by 2, which is 2,550. So the difference between the two is what I'm looking for. So 2601 take away 2550 is 51 rose bushes. OK? So that is how many more rose bushes the gardener planted 
than his apprentice.